two more features that I think you need to know about. One of them is down here under the viewfinder setup. You want to make sure you have view assist turned on if you're shooting in cinema log or canon log mode, okay? What that does is it's basically similar to applying a LUT to the image to kind of help you get a better idea of the brightness, saturation, contrast of the image after you have a LUT applied. It's not quite the same thing as LUT, but it's before Canon put LUTs in, these, in, in their cameras. This is sort of the in-between. So leave view assist on. It'll help you see a little bit better what the image might look like after color correction. So the next thing is kind of when I talked about log mode, you generally are going to want to shoot with this feature on. CP Cinema Lock. You're going to leave that on for 99.99% .99 of the time you're using this camera. But when you have it off, what this allows you to do is shoot with different kinds of settings that don't have as much dynamic range. Perhaps because you want to make the camera look, um, the image look more natural, so it doesn't have to be color corrected. And what you might want to do is then, on the side of the camera, hit the custom picture button. And if you push that button, if you just keep pushing the camera away there. There we go, if you push that, um, Wow, I thought I had pushed the button. There you go. If you push that button, it pulls up this menu here. And you can kind of switch between some different default um, settings that it has for you. EOS standard is basically Rec. 709. And wide dynamic range is Rec. 709 with an extended, I think, two stops of highlight protection. So it's the best one that I would select because it still looks relatively normal. And <clears throat> you can just kind of select it. And that's Cinema uh, CP8. You can see it's pulled up there on the screen. But now, you know, if I want to go back to S Canon Cinema Log, you just go to Menu, and you turn on Cinema Lock. You turn it on. And once you turn it on, you can see that CP8 is gone, and it says CP Locked. And really what that means is, I think CP stands for Camera Profile. And what that means is that your profile settings are locked out, and it's really just made to only shoot in log mode. All right, so hopefully a couple things there that'll help you know how to set the camera settings the way you want.